This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com. This is a Volkswagen XL uh, One. One. Mm -hmm. And you say they made 200. When did they make it? They're from 2014. They made 250, but 200 were sold to the public to te technically make it a production car. Uh -huh. So it's the world's most economical production car, and it's also the world's most e uh, aerodynamic car. It's like a CD of like 1. 8, not 0. 0.18. So, oh my gosh. Um, it's, it's a bit of a vanity project behind Volkswagen. It literally, they wanted at that time the fastest car, which was the Bugatti. They wanted the uh, most luxurious cars, which were the Phaeton and the Bentley. Mm -hmm. And they wanted the most economical car in the world, and they came up with it. Originally, they wanted it that it would do uh, one liter of fuel would take you 100 kilometers, which would be about 260 miles to mm -hmm. the gallon. This right. exceeds it greatly by 300. It's 313 miles. Now, is this a hybrid? It's or a diesel this... electric plug in hybrid, yeah. Okay, very good. Now, it's a diesel electric. Is the um, is the diesel engine connected? Uh, well, where are the drive wheels? Front or rear? Rear, rear wheel, rear okay. engine, rear wheel drive. Okay. Is the diesel engine connected to the yeah. Uh, wheels? Yeah, it is. Okay, so yeah. it's not like the bolt, uh, the volt, no. where it's uh, yeah, where it just generates electricity, yeah. and I think the new Mazda does that as well. Right. But no, this one is is, is more traditional. Okay. The, the whole powertrain that's in this was supposed to end up in the uh, European Volkswagen Up, which is a very mm -hmm. small car, yeah. and it would have been front-engine, front-wheel drive, and mm -hmm. it should have done well in excess of 100-odd miles to the gallon and mm -hmm. that without all the fantastic, you know, fantastic Kevlar bodywork and stuff like that. That's but, Kevlar, right? Yeah, Kevlar and uh, composite plastics, nice. uh, but the um, diesel gate cap came out, what, 18 months after this, two years? Um, well, diesel had always been around with the no, rabbit. The, the, the so. diesel gate. Oh, diesel, the yes. Diesel gate. Yes, and yes, that yes. then meant this whole project was quietly shuffled off to one side oh. and everything about it was forgotten about. What size diesel are you running? As, as in, what size is the engine? Yeah, what size? Um, it's 800 cc, so it's Eight, less than oh a liter. Oh my gosh. Yeah, only two cylinders. Wow. It sounds like a dump truck when you start it. Oh gosh. Yeah. So. Is this an industrial engine or uh, engine designed specifically for the XL1? No, it was actually a Volkswagen Polo engine and someone called like Wolfgang took a hacksaw to it and cut it, the four-cylinder ah. engine into two. Uh, obviously a little bit more technical than yes. that, but yes. really that's what it is. It's a four-cylinder 1.6 diesel Volkswagen wow. engine that's cut in half. Unbelievable. Now it's automatic? Yeah, yeah, it's a DSG gearbox. Ah, very good, very good. Fantastic. How did you come across this car? This vehicle actually belongs to the Land Motor Museum in Nashville, Tennessee. And they imported Figures. It, they imported it on show and display about three or four years ago. Yeah. So we're doing a fundraiser. They've lent it to us. They're, we're doing a fundraiser for Alzheimer's research. Uh -huh. And we're driving from uh, New York to San Francisco on Monday. Hopefully there is lots of money for a very good cause. Very good. And Jeff is always great people. Oh, he is. He, yeah, he is something else. And he he's the one to definitely pull something like this off. This is absolutely insane. When I first saw this pulling through, I thought it was the uh, Honda. Oh, the yeah, they're very alike. They're very alike. This is remarkable. Just remarkable. That is crazy. What is the... What is that for the uh, side view mirrors on the yeah, doors? Yeah, they're, if I pull this door down, you'll see the cameras are mounted just there. Very good. Yeah, because I know the mirrors uh, kill the arrow on it. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Jeez. Very tight in there. Yeah, everything is incredibly lightweight. It's uh, 1,500 pounds wow. in weight. Uh, very, very lightweight car. You got a lot of carbon fiber, I see. Yeah, lots of carbon fiber, uh, lots of composite plastic. So it's, a, it's wow. a cool bit of kit, but I don't really know if it's suitable for transcontinental travel, but we'll soon find we'll out. We'll find out. Yeah. Sure, why not? The. Uh, Oh, this is great. Thank you, you very it. much. Oh, let me give you one. Thank you. This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com bringing you the strangest stuff ever. For more cool events like this, make sure you check your car show calendar. NortheastWheelsEvents.com, SoutheastWheelsEvents.com, UKWheelsEvents.com. I'll see you at the shows.